In the Limousin, one is struck by the charm and diversity of the villages. Witnesses to the past, they are picturesque and always blend into the landscape. At the foot of the last foothills of the Limousin, Collonge la Rouge has been known since the 8th century. Those who built the village knew how to use the red sandstone that gives this town its particular charm and its unique color. Built around the ancient feudal castle, Turenne owes its name to the Visconti that for centuries formed an actual sovereign state. All that remain today of this castle are a square keep and the remains of three protecting walls. On a crest at the borders of the Corrèze and the Dordogne, Saint-Robert was built on the site of a Merovingian city. In this medieval village, the 45 church still retains nearly all of its 12th century detail. Ascending the valley of the Vézère, one reaches the Plateau de Millevaches, where many villages display the signature work of the Creusois Masons, who in the 19th century moved to Paris for about nine months of the year, where they were the essential part of the construction teams. To the south of the Creuse department, Feltin, the town of weavers, the birthplace of tapestry, at the end of the Middle Ages, was awarded the title of Royal Manufacturers in the 17th century. Known as the capital of the fire arts because of the strong presence of enamel and porcelain works, Limoges has a rich medieval and Gallo-Roman history. The county capital, it is a university, industrial and artistic centre. To the northwest of Limoges, Mortemar offers a noteworthy architectural ensemble. The ancient marketplace is a reminder of the trade that flourished there during the 17th century.